welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your love reading from the time you're listening to this, January 23rd on till February 23rd. It's going to be a love reading. So let's get into this. Please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Personal reading links are below. Okay. We've got the runner here. Okay. So an energy of someone who doesn't like to commit fear of intimacy all up in the ego okay and coffin someone here running to their death my goodness running themselves into the ground um, but there's an ending here which will bring a new beginning there's definitely growth change the coffin can be a card similar to the death card so even though something is ending okay or something for some of you has ended um it feels like it's just like r.i.p and mepa <laughs> it just feels like it's a situation here where um um okay they're just giving me one little thing here don't run yourself into the ground virgo during this time period um you might be going so hard that you wind up um, exhausting yourself I feel like that's a piece of advice for you to have but there's definitely um, you coming into this liberating sense right now of freedom okay because you're going to have something that ends some of you are just running away from someone a person place or a thing right there's the lightning okay this is like sudden change huge upheaval and transformation happening in your life during this month okay let's see let me see if i can get a clarification here um i just feel like virgo whatever you're doing at this time um if you don't take a break virgo um or pace yourself you could find yourself with this tower moment like hitting a brick wall like if you're going 100 miles an hour um, hitting a brick wall I feel like the message here for you is to pace yourself take just chip away at something don't do it all in one day whatever that is okay um, you've got the page of swords so you're very curious about something in your life at this time um, you might be learning I, I feel like you're asking a lot of questions um, in regards to what you need to do to go forward okay um hold on a second i just i'm it's crazy because i just feel like you're seeking some kind of truth and you're on like this path though you could be on this path of destruction if you don't stop chasing something um or take a break from chasing something um that six of pentacles just gives me this feeling of like you need to go easy okay um take a you know like because i see you giving and giving and giving to something during this time period these 30 days coming up and i feel like the message here is you need to like slow down so that you can receive okay definitely okay change is coming for you virgo i feel like you're starting off this new year with this um new mindset but i feel there might be excitement and that could have a lot to do with this running energy because you want to get there you want to get something completed you want to reach completion and it will come but i feel like it will come if you slow down <laughs> There's a lot of enthusiasm and excitement about something here going forward. You're trying to get to the finish line, Virgo. And um, this, it's not a sprint, Virgo. It's a marathon, right? So I feel like that's really an important message going forward. If you try to sprint the entire way, and this is just a metaphor, but if you try to sprint the entire way, you're going to hit that wall. You're going to break down. Um, I'm not predicting death. So for those of you who don't know much about tarot, it doesn't work that way. 
It's just that in order to have this growth, change, and liberation and freedom that you're seeking, you need to um, slow it down a little bit. Okay, just a little bit, bit by bit, bit by bit. Okay, let me see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. You know, I was going to start this off as a love reading, but I feel like this is a really important message. Let me see if I can pick up anything else, maybe in regards to your love life. Oh, yeah, okay. It is the same message in regards to love. You know, you might be someone who's chasing after love or seeking it. And I feel like um, you need to be sought after, <laughs> Virgo. Like, I know a lot of you are like, I don't chase nobody. And that's fine. That You've got it. You're good. But for those of you who are kind of in this, like, I really just want to be in this relationship with someone, anybody or a particular person, I feel like you... Um, don't be in a position of running after anyone or anything in your life. Let things have an opportunity to evolve and come to you, okay? Because I do feel like you will reach, you know, <laughs> I hate to say this, it's like a rat race, I know, but I do feel like you will reach the, um, the finish line, whatever your finish line is, okay? So you've got the Page of Pentacles, Virgo. So you have a lot of plans and ideas for the things you want to do, especially in regard to money, um, business, career, finances. So um, some of you might be um, creating some type of business or trying to get something. This is this is more like along the lines of, um, okay, wait, they just gave me the word and then it slipped away. Come back with that word. Um, concept you have some concept uh, you're in a conceptual stage about something okay it doesn't have to just be business or career but you're in a conceptual stage so you're putting your ideas together you're seeing how something could work you're taking a look at it you're looking at how you can make something happen how you can make a profit from something so you're definitely it's it's like in the new it's like new development the uh, concept and development stage um or what you want even in regards to love what you're seeking you know um so uh, you might be doing a lot of thinking about that during this time period what you're looking for in your life okay let's see what else what other message there is for you here okay wow you've got the death card again um, there's, there's so much transition, growth and change, but something has to end first before you're able to move forward. Something has to end first, Virgo, because you, I, I feel there's like a lot of restless energy coming from you right now i feel like there's a lack of patience that page of swords can be impatience you know i feel like that's kind of like you're sitting on your hands and fingers trying not to you know get your get your sticky fingers into something you're sitting on your hands um, you're trying not to rush into something. Look, you're going to have a light bulb moment for sure. And then if you're... If you're kind of like in this position or you feel this way right now or it's like you don't know if something's going to happen, you don't know, you know, you know that you have to end something here. And I feel like, uh, as I already said, but in order to have clarity, I feel like for a lot of you, you're seeking clarity as well before going into some other endeavor, relationship, something along those lines. And I just kind of get a sense, Virgo, that like you're trying to cut through all the BS in your life at this time. Okay. I do feel like that. Um, And I see you, but I just feel like it's like you're running through quicksand and, and you're just burning yourself out. You need to like, 
You need to call in a lifeline. <laughs> you need to use one of your lifelines, Virgo, for someone to kind of like come in and give you a little help with something here. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of restriction in connection to your life at this time. Like you're trying to break free, but you're you're you have all these ideas and plans and you're curious about things and you know, you want to get to the finish line, but you kind of feel like you're trapped here. But look, your feet are free. So, um this is more like your I think if you're overthinking, Virgo, you might self-sabotage. If you're doing too much thinking or overthinking um, in a negative way, overthinking is not, I don't think that that's a bad thing. If you're, if you're overthinking positive thoughts, that's a great thing. But if you go down the rabbit hole, um, then you're trying and using all your energy just to get out of that. I feel like the overall message is to just let it be and things will just come to you. Right, the, the harder you hold on to something, um, the more it will escape you. If you just let it go, it will just gently land in your palm and then you will know, okay? Then you will get that clarity, whatever this is in relation to. Let me just ask a little bit about love here because I generally do love readings, but I feel like these are some really strong messages. I just feel like, you know, try not to be restless. Try to be patient. Just w just wait for something to be revealed to you. All right, let me see. Wow, you got the Knight of Cups. Well, it's going to come, Virgo. Love will come. If you got out of a relationship or you're single or you're in a relationship and things aren't going well, you might, if, if that's, if the latter is the case, you might be trying to force a round peg into a square hole. I feel like, um, that might be burning you out or you're exhausted by that. You're trying so hard to fix or make something work. I feel like you need to um, run to the exit door and leave the situation if that's temporary um, or just mentally, right? Um, and if you're completely single and there isn't anybody in your life or you have someone in your mind, I do feel like letting go will bring um, a love some type of a love offer to you okay i don't know if that is something that you would want from someone in particular it could be a pisces for some of you we do have let me tell you the signs here um pisces we have cancer scorpio leo aquarius taurus okay so yeah it it will definitely come i just feel like if you are trying to force the issue it won't Okay, it won't, but it, it will, but letting it go, finishing something out and just being like, you know, it is whatever it is. I'm just going to like, I've, I've learned the lesson. I've completed the lesson and I'm not going to force something. I have a lot of ideas and plans here with the page of pentacles. Um, but I feel restricted. I feel like you're not really restricted here in your life. Um, if there's any self-sabotaging behavior, it could be more along the lines of um, um, not believing that you can do something or feeling like you're never going to find love in your life or there isn't ever going to be anybody for you. It's a lot of negative thinking, okay? You might be isolating yourself at this time. Um, that's pretty extreme. It, I think it's all right if you take some downtime for sure, but um, we all need people, right? So um, even, and this would be pretty extreme in the sense of like isolating yourself from friends and family and um, love opportunities. I feel like, you know, you might be kind of feeling like someone put you in a, in a situation, but um, nobody has the power to put you in anything, Virgo. Yeah, um, if you accepted to be put in a particular situation just so you could have love or um, 
have this person in your life. I'm, they're just telling me, um, well, they might have suggested things to you and you may have just went along and agreed even though you weren't comfortable with it. I feel like you, you, some of you, not all of you, you may need to take a look at what role you played in accepting it, okay? Um, and some of you I know are like facing yourselves and realizing that you can you have the power to change your mind and you have the power to walk out of this situation like i said um this person's feet are not bound at least i don't see that and um he or she can walk out of this situation even though the arms might be tied and there's blindfold blindfold thing going on um you know it's interesting because the card that comes before the Eight of Swords, I think what brought you to the Eight of Swords um, might have been a relationship that you've been trying to get out of or run away from. There might have been betrayal or dishonesty or somebody might have come in and like stole from you or stole your heart um, and left you in this state. And I know that's pretty extreme. I'm not, I know I'm not talking to all of you, but yeah, I... <sighs> I feel like if that's your situation, um, you don't have to stay there. You don't. You're not a tree. You can move. Okay. You don't have to stay in in a situation that is not um, healthy for you. Okay. Yeah. Look, because this is where you're headed. If if you don't make some kind of change, some of you are in situations or relationships that you physically can't remove yourselves. This. Um, Eight of Swords is a, is a card of the mental, the intellect, the air. So this is more like you may need to make a mental change. You need to make some mental notes, that's for sure, but make a mental change about your situation. Um, if you... If you are planning to leave a relationship or thinking about it, you may need to kind of put a game plan together, a mental game plan about how you might be able to accomplish that, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Um, so, Virgo, I, I feel like, you know, you've got the lovers here. Um, so there is definitely going to be a decision in regards to love that you're going to be faced with going forward. And I do feel like um, love will show up especially around valentine's day and i know that's cliche to say but um i do feel like it's going to come but i feel like you got to finish something first you got to get out of something first and even if you are out of a relationship or you are on your own single as a pringle this may be a mental block that you are still, like you might still be energetically tied or attached to someone in your head. And you have to be patient that, and I always say, you know, there's always a residual leftover. You know, like if you've been at your job for like say 20 years and then you get laid off or you leave, right? Your whole routine, your whole everything changes. You have to kind of reorient yourself to this new phase that you're in and i feel like if you're out of something or you're not involved with you know out of a job or a relationship or what have you and you're on your own um this is like a process of reorientation okay um to get acclimated to this lifestyle that you are embarking on now okay and if you are in a relationship with someone right now that you were trying to get out, you might start reorienting yourself to the, the outside world in some way, okay? Some of you need to, like, see what all the other cats are doing on the other side of town and um, try to, like, figure out if that's going to, if that's something that you want. What's your lifestyle choice? How do you want to live your life going forward as, you know, a single person, and meeting other people what's your what's your game plan i mean you just unless you want to be a hippie and you just you know want to just float down the river and wherever the the river takes you is fine with you by all means go for it but i think some of you especially that's not really a virgo trait virgos are generally 
kind of linked to routine and um, having the game plan and doing things right and not setting themselves up for failure. Virgos do not like failure. Um, and even though a Virgo will accept the outcome if they've put all their ducks in a row and they've you know put all their energy and effort into it if it doesn't work out then virgo's like that eh. virgo doesn't cry over spilled milk Vir virgo's just like all right i need to just rearrange these ducks you know so i feel like y you're you're but there's something here in this time period where it's like maybe there's something here that you um, need to stop trying to fix and um you know maybe let it fix itself let it go leave it be and if you know if it's meant to work out for you it will and if it's not um you know like i said what are all the other cats doing there's love there's definitely love coming in okay once you get your your mindset in a better place that nine of swords is like you're on the verge of a total breakdown here virgo you really are that's what i feel like the message is here if you don't slow your roll and um get your get, get your playbook together <laughs> you know i mean i just feel like uh, people are you know i always say well i don't want to play any games well life is a game you know um if you are you know if you are competing for something um if you have like a like an, a, a goal you're trying to attain you you have to have like a strategy in life right i mean you're not going to go for something if there isn't any going to be any reward or payout at the end right like let's say you're in the olympics you know you love what you do and you're, you're competing for that trophy and if they say well uh, there's no trophy we just want to see you work your ass your ass off and you know burn your fingers and your knees and and get injured and we just want to see what you can do and it's like yeah but why why am i going to do that <laughs> i mean yeah i'll do it as a hobby but i'm not going to kill myself if there's like nothing at the end of if there's no light at the end of the tunnel because if there's no light at the end of the tunnel uh i mean that's like <laughs> you'd be in that tunnel forever what am i even talking about you've got the two of cups here so yeah virgo there's gemini energy i you know th you're gonna make a connection this should have been yesterday's reading <laughs> for the singles you're definitely going to make a connection during this time period okay you might get asked out somebody might reach out connect with you um want to get together with you could be around valentine's day uh could be Feb so the week of february 2nd through the 6th also something showing up here um Who is showing up here for Virgo? Ooh. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Ah, hello, Queen, uh, King of Swords. How are you? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a homeless person. Okay, going to meet a homeless person. There's going to be a love connection. You're going to drop a couple of coins in their coin slot. Maybe buy them a cup of coffee and a hot dog. But uh, I'm just kidding, Virgo. Hey, but wait, you never know. Um, so, hmm. I'm asking who? Oh, 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 okay. Another Virgo. There's a connection with another Virgo, okay, that you could be meeting up with during this time period. And I feel like this person, this Virgo, is... Um, pretty much a workaholic <laughs> i mean this person is uh lonely i'm just hearing this person is a workaholic and they're lonely they're they don't have anybody um okay I mean, all this person does is work. Work, 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 work. That's all they do. And they have a little bit of jealousy going on, a little envy. They might have had a financial setback. All right. So we also have Queen of Wands in the reverse. Could be a Leo Virgo cusp, or you could be. Um, so it could be also Aries or Sag. So, hmm. 
this person is like very aggressive when it comes to their work i don't know why does this per person work so much um maybe they owe or they have a lot of debt um or they're working to find another job or they're homeless and they're trying to get i don't know so there's definitely um someone here male or female energy that you, i do see you connecting with um i feel like you might just be like okay well i'll meet up with you and we can just be friends um but i feel it's because there's th it just feels like this person does not have a lot of time for a relationship i mean they want to be in a partnership and i know this doesn't listen life life is what it is okay i feel like this person or they travel for work so I don't know things could change later for sure connecting with this person they travel for work or they're always on the road um and they're just not really available uh, so if you're someone that like needs to date three or four times a week and see this person like all the time i don't see that energy playing out um if you're someone who's like, now nah, I'm good, once a month we'll connect, <laughs> then this might work for you. Or a couple of times a month or wh whatever. Could be if it's a long distance kind of thing, um, it might work out. It just depends, because I'm talking to a lot of Virgos here, so it really just depends uh, what you're looking for. And I think during this time period, you're also trying to figure that out yourself. Like, what what's going to work for you? What do you want? Do you want someone who... You know sit it on your couch four or five days a week and you know they're always there all the time or do you are you looking for someone who um is just not as you know you just see each other when you see each other which might like i said work better for you okay why do you have the five of pentacles okay what is going on here Oh, okay. So yeah, this person, they're just saying this person works so much because they're having some financial struggle. Okay. I don't think that this is the norm for them. And I don't think it's really the norm for anybody in this day and age, but I just kind of get a sense that everybody's struggling. Yeah. See, I feel like this person was at one point high, um, very comfortable living in their luxury emotional happiness and joy okay they pretty much had everything they they are someone who um is kind of in a similar situation to you because this is someone who reached the light of the tunnel at one point and then it looks like right when they got there maybe the tunnel got stretched even further so like it's like there's a similarity to you and this person where you're both on some type of path you know and i feel like you're going to cross paths with this person and um it's going to kind of go slow why does this feel like a singles reading okay i'm going to pull a couple of more cards and then get into the other portions of the reading i mean love is definitely on the horizon virgo you just have to believe okay so you're learning something here also what are you learning you might be studying or you're in school and you're um maybe you're getting the remainder of your degree okay um oh wow Virgo, I feel like you right now on a personal level, you're trying to understand what sets you on fire. Where your passions are in your life. This feels like a real internal kind of thing going on for you. Trying to figure out like where do you want to go? What path? What direction? I feel like you're under learning to be a trailblazer as well. <laughs> in your life okay um like or how to be a trailblazer or or how to understand it's weird it's like taking a look at yourself and saying you know 
this is something I really, really love to do or to involve myself in. And I feel like you might be learning or you're going to school for something or, or you're just reading some books or trying to reading more up on something or learning more about something that you, you have strong passion about. Okay, which I think is great because this feels like internal enrichment as you are moving forward. Oh, wow. Okay, you've got the hangman, Pisces energy. Um, it feels like enlightenment, Virgo. This, this is like, so you might have been in a codependent relationship where um you know codependency codependent relationships what they say is that they're basically two people that just don't have an identity <laughs> um or one person is struggling with who they are everything they do um doesn't come from their core their soul it comes from what the other person is doing Okay, if you've gotten out of a codependent relationship or you're learning about that, this is an energy here of like, wow, who am I? What do I want to do? What do I love to do? What do I like? What do I enjoy in my life? And I feel like this is what you're doing at this time, becoming enlightened about and learning about yourself and, and really what sets your heart on fire. And, and, and you know, even in a relationship, Sometimes the codependency can set in or sometimes the dependency can set in where there's a tendency to put the other person's needs before your own. Um, and I think that it's good to make sacrifices in love because that's love. But I think you might have made more sacrifices than another person. And it looks like you're kind of like possibly pulling your energy back or taking this time to look at yourself and say, you know, what do I want to do? Forget everybody else. And and really having like, when I said you were going to get a light bulb moment, I mean, look at his head. Ding, 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 ding. It's kind of like waking up and seeing something differently. You know, um, there's a lot of healing energy happening here for you, Virgo. And I, I just love it. I feel like you're, you know, headed on a path that's new for you. And um, some of you are not trying to get into a relationship at this time. Some of you are just doing you, which is great. Okay. So you have the justice card. So that thing, Virgo, that you were sweating over before, that's coming to an end. You're entering into a good place because truth is going to come out. And it's going to be in your favor. So whatever it is that you discover during this time period, um, I feel like you might be over worrying about something. Okay. Hmm. Sweet text message in the reverse. Some of you are just simply over worrying that someone didn't reply to, um, or somebody left you on red. Okay. You might be stressing about that. Okay. Um, Hmm. Well, I feel like somebody's going to reply to a message. Um, and I also heard some of you, there was someone that did reach out to you, but you didn't see it. I'm also hearing that you didn't, you didn't see the message. You didn't receive the call. Um, and I feel like somebody, okay, could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So I feel like this person is going to send it or resend it or reach out again. Okay. Um, so I wouldn't really worry. I would, and I definitely don't see anything here about you reaching out to another person, to the, or this person, the message, text message thing is in reverse so that's kind of like no don't you know I, I don't know the situation I don't know who I'm talking to but I feel like if you were worried or c over concerned if you're reaching out it's based out of it's out of anxiety if you're not feeling over worried or concerned and you're just trying to say hey did you get the message then I think that's okay but you have to like stop in your tracks pause for a moment and say am I reaching out because I'm worried because of 
anxiety because of codependency am i chasing yeah if it's coming from there yeah you've got committed love relationship in the reverse so um <laughs> Some of you might have asked somebody if they wanted to be in a committed relationship or what's going on in the relationship or if there's an issue and you didn't get a, a, a message back. Um, some of you didn't want to chase to get the answer in case it's no. But I do feel like there was an issue here where there was a connection with someone and it feels like a fire sign who didn't want to connect in a, a committed love relationship, okay? And um, I do feel like they're going to reach out to you again. Yep, message from an admirer. So I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. What are they going to say to Virgo? What are they going to say to Virgo? Oh, I was waiting to hear from you. I never got your message. Hmm. There's a miscommunication. Okay. Um, and they also will say, I know you were waiting for an answer. Um, I know you were waiting to hear back or I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. Yeah, so this just kind of feels like an overall thing about worrying about um, somebody not responding or just trying to like feeling like you're in the dark and not really understanding what is going on. <laughs> Let me get a couple of messages of love here. Oop. Okay, different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. Okay, well, there might be some understanding about this at this time. Okay, um, I do see that you and somebody are on different pages for sure. And you might already know that, like you might be aware that that is a truth. Okay, oh, it's a twin flame. Yeah. The struggle with the twin flame relationship is there for sure okay so yeah you're really waking up to stuff here the runner in a twin flame relationship you might be the runner they might be the runner what else Oh, well, only one flipped out. Abundance. You've done the work. Things will flow to you now, Virgo. I feel like you just need to have that positive mindset, really. I feel like you're just struggling. And you're really trying to um, get your sea legs at this time, during this time period. Love is definitely coming in. I do feel like you're going to make a connection with someone. I just kind of feel like you are transitioning out of something and you're not ready to go all the way in with someone or um, start again with someone just yet. And that's fine. Take your time. Go at your own pace. Don't, you know, just be still. I feel like the message here is to just be still. Let me see what your romance angels okay yeah separation time apart from you and this person is coming up here and or you're in it already there's a separation and it's it's fine it's needed it's necessary it's a timeout a mental timeout physical timeout whatever it might be okay from somebody maybe the relationship you're getting away from your or you're trying to separate yourself from this old way of thinking and reorienting yourself to yourself, which is, you know, that's a process that takes time. It's like trying a new food for the first time that you just would make you gag. It's going to take time for you to get used to it. <laughs> I don't know why that analogy <laughs> came to me. Let me get one more. Okay. Forgiving and learning. Oh, it's all a process of letting go. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, you know, even if there's a relationship here with someone, some of you might just be healing from a codependent relationship. Some of you might not be leaving 
or are, are you are making a decision not to leave, but you're trying to be healthy within a relationship. And that might require um, letting go of the past and healing those codependency wounds or issues that might have come up. And for those of you who are just in separation from somebody, I feel like... Um, you know you're not there with them there's a lot of healing energy like i said um and you're you might be coming to terms with you know i can't fix it the more i get my hands in it and tinker with it the worse it gets so just let me leave it alone it's like it's like someone who goes and bleaches their hair and, and then it, they only you know there's so many stages to go from like say if you have dark hair to light hair you have to go through all these different levels okay um, to lift and um, some of you might be trying to go from dark to platinum in one setting and you're going to burn your hair <laughs> you're going to burn out so this is an energy of like you have to like lift rest lift rest you have to take your time as you transition okay in this love relationship um as you transition out to have something brand new or as you transition the relationship itself um, it can also uh, relate to your health relate to your wealth your career all this all this energy i feel like it's all just coming to light during this time period let me see what your chinese messages are here okay year of the rabbit wow this is the year of the rabbit you guys can go look online to see how the year of the rabbit will be for you in regards to your chinese sign i'm a rooster and it's supposed to be kind of tumultuous for roosters because roosters don't like to rest and take it easy roosters are always on the go they want to move if their feet aren't moving their minds are moving and the rabbit's all about you know gentleness peacefulness and i think for probably the pig and the goat and also another rabbit it will be a good year and some others will fare 50 50 but you can definitely go check that out you can look it up somewhere on i think if i find the link i'll post it in the description box below what will the year the rabbit bring for you guys but yeah somebody's a rabbit we also have a rat year of the rooster year of the monkey year of the dragon year of the ox rooster again year of the tiger which we just finished and year of the pig okay let me see if i can get some names for you guys and other messages here names and other messages okay okay i just heard siobhan okay and amy and quatavia and well there's a letter p but they're not giving me a name we have a letter h uh, Henry, um, Jose, no, not Jose, that starts with a J, but it could be Jose, um, Ho Josue, um, Heather, Haley, we have, um, George, or Georgian, I'm going to say Gina, or Regina, okay, I'm picking up Mary. Will you marry me? Mm. Mickey or Mike? Okay. Helena? Or Helen? Okay. Oh, uh... Jem, or maybe it's Jim. Okay, very interesting. I'm just gonna leave those names there for you. Let's get a couple of the new physical features. Let's see physical features, this person coming in that you're gonna be connecting with. What does this person look like? So Virgo can get some kind of heads up here. 
Okay. Someone is average height. Someone is bald or very, very short buzz cut type hair. Okay. We have someone with black hair. We have someone with piercings. We have someone with hazel eyes. They may also have brown eyes. And brown hair. Wait. Yeah, black hair and also brown hair. Someone has very long hair. And wavy hair as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave those there. Okay, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, and Libra. Very prominent in your reading. Could be you, the other person. Aquarius, Aries, and Capricorn. Okay, somebody's born June 1st, September 6th, uh, 1971, 1970, um, 10388, important number. <laughs> okay, somebody is 40, and someone was, okay, 1996, or 69 okay august september birthdays okay we have august 20 29th um august 25th and the 26th and we have september 9th 12th the 11th the 5th and September 1st. Okay, one more. Somebody's also 40. Okay, November 17th, showing up here. Somebody lives, their address is 417. Okay, someone is 53. Um, 1989, maybe born in 89. And I'm also picking up August, wait, did I say that already? 29th, it's coming up again. Okay, yep, so those are going to be your messages. And I will leave that there for you. And again, if you want to get a personal reading, link is in the description box below. Also, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter. I'm not really on Twitter that much um, anymore. I was a little bit, but once in a while, but definitely you can follow me on Facebook. The link is up above there. You see it. So, or it's not the link, the address, the link is below though in the description box. I'm very active on there. So definitely go ahead and follow me and, um, yeah, I will leave your reading there and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. All right.